This is Bailey Pillblood for Amherst Lady Comments, and this is Ohio Sports Nut. <laughs> this is Sarah Miller for Amherst Soccer, and you're watching Ohio Sports Nut. <laughs> Part two. <laughs> this is Emery Hedges. And this is Kate Anderson for Ohio Sports Nut. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> What's that mean? This is Carrie Minsky, and this is Dana Swift for Amherst Soccer, and, and this, this is Ohio, Ohio Sports, Sports Nut. Coming into your senior year, what yes. are your expectations for this season? SWC champs. Really? Yes. Is that attainable, you think? I think so, yeah. What's it going to take? Teamwork. Yeah, we're just going to go. Getting together, becoming close as a team. Not playing for yourself, but playing for each other. How bad do you want it? Bad. It's my last year. I need to get it. We need it. It'd be the first year this year if we won it. Really? Yeah. So how much does that add to it? How much would that feel even better? It'd be amazing. Especially going out with like your last year winning SWC champs for the first time. It'd be awesome. This year, I think we want it more than ever. All of us are in for it and um, we're just ready. It's, it's, it's time for it to happen. Yeah. SWC champs and district champs. Beating Westlake in the districts. Yeah? Yes. How realistic are those? We can do it. I have full confidence that we can do that. What's it going to take? A lot of teamwork. Our seniors really coming together and bringing everybody together because we have a lot of younger people on our team. So I think if our seniors really bring everybody together, well, no problem because we have the talent. I definitely win at WCs, maybe districts. I can definitely see it though. Yeah. Districts. Yeah. I just want to make it to district finals because I think we have like really good potential this year. What is it about your team that gives you the potential, maybe the ability to get to districts and beyond? Like, I feel like it's like our senior class. Like we're all super close, and we all work very close together, and we all communicate very well, like with all the team players. And I feel like that's a big aspect. And we're like good super good friends, all of us. So I feel like when you're a good friend with everybody on the team, you work well together, and you know how each other play. What would you say to an outsider, make you get excited, want to come watch a comedy game? I think that we have one of the best senior groups that we've ever had, and I think that when our seniors work together and we have all of the young talent, I think that that's exciting enough. Our team's going to be a young team this year. It's not just going to be junior and seniors. It's going to be a lot of freshmen and sophomores coming up to play, and it's kind of cool seeing younger people beat out seniors for spots in games. Take me back last year to the districts. How did you feel after that loss? Awful. <laughs> that was horrible. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. We were, it was so close and we just let it slip. Oh my god, that was the worst thing ever. That was so bad. Oh my god, I can't even like think about it. It's actually like sad. Does something like that motivate you for this year? Kind of. Well, we never beat Westlake in the district playoffs. So it's kind of like last year should have been our chance. We had so many open like opportunities to score and we never did. Bad. Awful because we were so close and like... It was a matter of like a minute, like we could have been like the first one. And you like play for so long and so much effort and you have so much like built up like, you're just like so like everything you got in it and then it's to be let down like that, it's just, yeah, it's awful. Awful feeling, so much. <laughs> that loss is just awful and it just, it just, just like watching that corner kick and then happen was just awful. I know. So it just it makes crazy. us want to like so what can a, a game like that, the, the hurt, the pain, the sadness that you felt from that, just build a fire inside you for this year? You guys take that and use it as motivation? Yeah, because we were so close to making it into the district finals. And it's just like, we were like literally 10 seconds away from going into PKs where we probably would have ended up winning. So yeah. Because I don't want to feel like that again. I don't want it to be that close. I don't want to miss all those opportunities. And I just want, we didn't need to go into overtime, but we did. And I think that in our senior year, I don't think we will go into overtime. I think we'll take all the opportunities that we missed and we'll actually get it done. Yeah. 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 I think it can be. Yeah, I could definitely. see it this year. Like last year, like I could obviously see it, but like this year, I feel like it's our year. We have more like equally like spread out talent this year. I feel like everybody's good. It's not just like a couple people. Like everybody on our team has something to offer. Everything we do, we link, we like uh, relate it back to that. Like if we were to push, push a little bit harder, we could have shot that goal if we can do one more sprint, we can do this, and like, it just all works out. We just don't want our season to end like how it did last year. We don't want to end on a loss. Along with winning a conference title your senior year, how gratifying would it be to be the first one out of this 
That'd be awesome. I mean, especially coming off of a winning season in softball, like I've been past the districts and I've been that far. And I think having that on our team, it's good to have some experience. And I just, it'd be awesome. How much do you think you can use that to help the younger players and teach them what it means to win? I think I can talk to them because it'd be one thing to be, oh, like we can get past districts, but I've had the experience. I've been past districts. I can talk to them. I can calm them down if they're nervous. I can lead us through it. We could do it too. Yeah. Like, it, like, it could happen. It shows us like it can happen. It's not just something we like want to do. Like somebody actually did it in our school, so we can do it. Yeah. Give me your prediction on an outcome for a successful season. We're going to win more than lose. I think definitely in SWC wise, we're probably going to come out on top for that. Yeah. How bad do you want Wessel? So bad. I can't. I'm waiting for that game. And it's home this year, so we're going to have our fans all around us. It's going to be nice. How bad do you want Wessel? <laughs> bad. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> How bad do you want him? Really, so really bad. bad. <laughs> really, really <Yeah>. bad. <laughs> A district title, conference title, things like that happened this year. How would you feel? Awesome. Knowing my senior year we won <laughs> SWC's, made it to district finals, that'd be amazing. An SWC win and hopefully we can see Westlake again in the playoffs and beat them. Yeah, beat them. Because I know we can. SWC's. Yeah. Beat Westlake. Basically, in just district finals, win or lose, if we make it to district finals, it'd be awesome.